Well, red tide continues to plague our local beaches, but is it safe to touch the water that's impacted by the algae bloom? ABC 7's Erica Jackson tells us what you need to know before dipping your toes in the Gulf. Aside from a little bit of seaweed in the water, it seemed great. Temperatures, uh, water temperatures, wonderful. Raymond Strelick didn't see any dead marine life while visiting Manatee Beach Friday, but he saw a sign warning beachgoers of red tide, and he saw darker water. That didn't keep him stuck in his beach chair. And I saw other people in, decided I'd uh, go for a swim, and so far, you know, I haven't noticed any problems. There certainly have been some concerns in the community. Dr. Holland from Sarasota Memorial Hospital says some patients are coming in with symptoms associated with red tide exposure. While the red tide can cause a sore throat or coughing, he says it's safe to swim in the Gulf. Many times it's worse when you're walking on the beach than it is when you're in the water. Dr. Holland says you should be concerned about other bacteria in the water. The fact that you have infections associated with red tide is more to do with the bacteria that are in the water than actually the algae associated with the red tide. Red tide can cause short-term health problems for people with respiratory-related illnesses. But doctors say people in good health, like Strelick, can enjoy the beaches and water without any long-term consequences. It felt fine. I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't regret going in. I was ABC 7's Erica Jackson reporting. Florida Fish and Wildlife says it is safe for most people to swim during a red tide bloom, but if you notice your skin or eyes getting irritated, get out and wash off with clean water. FWC does say don't swim near dead fish because they can be contaminated with harmful bacteria.